गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मॉलिकुलर मिस्ट्रीज होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग फाइन आउट देयर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट इन टू द क्लास गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल यू ऑल नो दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द न्यू चैप्टर सेल बायोलॉजी वेयर आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेल डिविजन एंड ऑल द सेल रिलेटेड थिंग्स दैट हैपन इन द सेल ओके सो इन द कमिंग क्लासेज आई विल टॉक अबाउट द माइटोसिस मियोसिस सेल डिविजन बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हैव यू वट आई हैव आई वॉन्ट यू टू हैव ए क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट द बेसिक you know uh, terms that you, uh, you keep coming like you keep hearing while the classes are going on and that comes the basics for your cell division right because so these are the important terms that you happen to hear during cell division let's discuss about that in this class okay so what are the basic terms before you enter into the cell division you should be having a brief knowledge about what are the number of chromosomes that are present in the cell so please remember we all have two different type of cells in the body they are somatic cells and the gametes see what are the types of cells that i have uh, discussed here is somatic cells and the gametes what are somatic cells these are the vegetative cells where uh, you have the diploid number of chromosomes what does dip diploid mean and what does haploid mean okay so as per uh, uh, the knowledge that we have we have 46 chromosomes in cell what does that mean it has 23 types of chromosomes we have 23 different type of chromosomes of a two copy set like two sets of 23 chromosomes so is it okay with you like uh, are you then i'm a confusing you See, please remember there are 23 types of chromosomes two sets of 23 types of chromosomes that means you have 46 chromosomes in every cell in humans because humans are diploid okay if it is diploid means having a diploid see like it's a 2n number we know that chromosomes are generally represented in small n right so uh, diploid means it's a 2n number haploid means one set like see haploid uh, uh, cells like sorry haploid number of chromosomes are seen in uh, gametes so what are gametes so uh, for that you should have an understanding that gametes are haploid in number where it does contain only one set of chromosomes like they have 23 chromosomes but they are only having only one set so they are named as haploid so haploid in all haploid or in organisms which are haploid in number they have only 23 chromosomes in the cell it doesn't have any copy of extra okay please remember these are the basic terms okay so before that i want to tell you what does i actually a chromosome appear okay because in the coming classes i also want to discuss about the distribution of the chromosomes in the cell like sex determination how the sex is been determined like what are the number of chromosomes and what happens if there are no proper you know uh, arrangement of chromosomes in your cell like what are the disorders that lead to the improper arrangement or improper distribution of your chromosomes in the cell okay so for that uh, this class is entirely about the basic terms that you happen to hear in cell division okay so now see let's talk about what is a chromosome so see for example this is your chromosome okay so uh, these are the chromatids right these are called the chromatids and this is your centromere okay so this is your chromosome what happens in um the s phase when they enter into the m phase so in the coming class i will also discuss about the cell cycle where you go through the phases of cell cycle okay when they enter into the cell division this chromosome starts duplicating okay this is your uh, replicated like see this chromosome is rep upon replication it is doubling its quantity of dna okay see here the chromosome this newly formed chromatids are the same identical chromatid like these two are called the sister chromatids 
because the newly formed chromosome is uh, the identical exact identical copy of your parent chromosome you got my point so these both are having the same genes like if you have the same gene here they will represent have the same gene here it's a nothing but it's a replicated it's a duplicated copy it's an exact copy they are, are identical i can say the sister chromatids are identical they have the same genes in particular i can tell you they have the same alleles so alleles i'll come under uh, the genetics class i will discuss it later okay so they have the same genes and they have the same alleles so these are called the sister chromatids because they have the same number of genes on both the chromosomes they are identical exact copy i can say okay so this is what happens when a chromosome replicates and you will get a sister chromatid so this generally happens in somatic cells normally so what happens is when i talk about the gametes so gametes does contain only 23 chromosomes per cell because the other 23 you will get after the fusion after the fertilization right so for example just think that is your sperm sperm cell and does contain n is equals to 23 okay and this is your egg cell which does again contain 23 uh, 23 chromosomes okay and now what happens for example okay this is your sperm cell after replicating these both are your okay this is your right now let's talk about the egg cell okay this is your uh, the replicated part which is exact copy of your parent cell right so these chromosomes are called the sister chromatid okay see now before i tell you this i want to tell you one important thing you will also hear about the term called homologous chromosomes what does homologous chromosome mean for each and every chromosome will have a homologous pair in diploid organisms okay so they'll be having a correct uh, homologous pair which resemble in in genes wise but not in the alleles in particular okay they are not the exact copy the homologous chromosomes are not the exact copy but they just resemble in some genes okay for example that's what i'm telling you for example egg cell has got the sister same uh, see the chromatids of the same chromosome are called sister chromatids in the same way the chromatids of the chromatids of the same chromosome are called as sister chromatids okay these are all the exact exact pair and these two are the exact copy of each other and now what happens if i talk to you what happens upon fertilization so what happens in fertilization crossing over happens so this term you will again hear in meiosis what is crossing over there will be an exchange of the part of your chromatids between the homologous pair and again these two are the homologous chromosomes this particular sperm cell and this particular egg cell are the homologous chromosome these are not the exact copies of each other but they just have some genes in common and different alleles okay but these are all the homologous chromosomes and these chromosomes uh these two chromatids are called the non sister chromatids
okay you got a you hope you are clear with the concept okay see the chromatids of the homologous pair of chromosomes are called the non sister chromatids and the chromatids of the same chromosome after replication are called the sister chromatids okay so you you know uh, uh, aware of the terms like non sister and sister so what happens in the crossing over anyway i will be covering this topic meiosis in the coming classes but for now please remember this crossing over the uh, need needs to be happened for a cell for the production of your gametes what happens in the crossing over so for example if you take these two homologous pair they get at a point like for example let me uh, draw that in very particular thing like so so this is a sperm cell okay and this is your excel so what happens is at one point these two will fuse with each other see okay they fuse with each other forming this is called as chiasmata okay this occurs in the packetin stage of prophase 1 so uh, please don't get confused in the coming classes i will anyway will teach about the stages of cell division like mitosis meiosis what happens as again in meiosis why is it called a reductional division and why how many uh, haploid Uh, uh cells are formed in meiosis okay please don't get confused as of now so you should be well aware that the sister chromatids are the chromatids of the same chromosome and the non sister chromatids are the chrom uh, chromatids of the homologous pair of chromosomes and haploid and diploid you know having one set of same type of chromosome is only haploid having two sets of 23 different type of chromosomes are called diploid okay and homologous pair i told you okay see this is what the chiasmata this chiasmata is formed at the packetin stage of your prophase 1 in meiosis so after so hope i am clear with the basic terms in cell division okay now let's go back to the class so see please go through it haploid i have discussed diploid i have discussed somatic cells i have discussed sister non sister crossing over and dna duplication so and one more important thing please remember that during dna duplication there is no change in the polyoid number like for example if you have a uh, 2n like we have you know that humans are diploid and you have 2n number of chromosomes when they get duplicated it doesn't become a 4n it it only be in 2n position but the amount of dna and please remember 2n becomes 2n only but the amount of dna is increasing Uh, upon the cell division the amount of dna have any doubt please let me know okay uh, during the dna duplication what happens is please remember that dna duplication means duplicating the dna not the polyoid the 2n becomes 2n only don't get confused that 2n will become 4n no 2n will be only 2n the amount of dna is getting duplicated not the polyoid there is no change in the polyoid dna duplication okay hope i am clear with the basic terms in this class okay in the next class i will talk about the cell division in detail structure and also how what are the stages in cell division and what are the significance of those cell divisions okay so hope i am clear and see you in the next class and i am also attaching the basic uh, terminology regarding the cell biology in this uh, description box only please go through it okay so thank you and have a nice day in the next class until then stay positive stay healthy and be kind to everyone thank you bye bye